So the biggest banks today have a lot more capital than they had before the financial crisis. My humble opinion is it didn't go far enough, but I will tell you uh, I'm of a minority view in that. And there does not appear to be any political appetite in the United States to raise capital requirements further. There's a proposal that's been floated at the Federal Reserve and some other regulators to raise capital requirements. There was a lot of pushback publicly from many different constituents. And so now they're coming out with a more modest proposal. And so, um, you know, I hope we can continue to take this forward because I worry that another 08 crisis could always happen. Mm -hmm. uh, we do know a few things. So one of the sources of the US crisis was that many, many people were able to buy lo get loans to buy a house with no money down, no documentation of income. You just would write, well, I could make up a salary and you can get a loan. That has largely stopped. So they have clamped down on some of those egregious lending practices, but there's still, you know, risks are, are always out there. You know, one thing that I'm a little bit optimistic about, you might, I'm not sure how much of this is on your radar here. Uh, in the US, there's a lot of focus on the private credit arena, where instead of banks making loans, it's private equity companies and other type of uh, off balance sheet vehicles that are making loans to businesses. And it's scary in some level because it's ex exploded to a, a trillion dollar plus market fairly quickly. But as, our, as I've examined it, you know, a bank in the US today, a big bank is levered roughly 10 to one, 10 times as much assets for their equity. These private credit vehicles are typically levered one to one. So it's much less leverage. Banks have overnight liquidity, meaning you can go tomorrow and withdraw your money from the bank. These private credit vehicles generally have long-term liquidity. So on both fundamental dimensions, so wh where do systemic risks come from? The intersection between leverage and a maturity transformation. Yeah. So on both those dimensions, these private credit vehicles look like it's, they're much lower risk than banks. So while I, I wish we had tighter regulation on the banks, I'm actually cautiously optimistic that some of these market developments might actually lead to less risk, at least less systemic risk of the financial system.